welcome to my channel. I'm Zoya Day, licensed esthetician, and this is Day's Beauty Room, your number one source for professional skincare advice, product knowledge, and esthetician tips. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some of my favorite black-owned beauty brands that I've personally used or have heard really great things about. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and let's get into today's video. So one of the main reasons I kind of took a little break from posting was because of everything that was going on in the world and a few personal issues that I'll get into in an updated video that I'll be posting later on. I honestly just really needed a break from everything. So I did take a little step back. So in support of the Black Lives Matter movement and just this whole supporting black companies and black businesses and showing up for black businesses to create systematic equality. I'm gonna talk about a few of my favorite black owned beauty brands. And this is really just to help promote some awesome brands and some really great products and support this historical movement that's going on right now. And I think a really great way to push and support equality is to include black businesses when you talk about beauty brands because I feel like sometimes they don't really get the recognition that they should. And I know a lot of people think that because a company is black owned that it's supposed to be, you know, just for black people or black skin, black hair, or whatever the case may be. And that's not always true. And the same for the aesthetics field. I feel like especially in the aesthetics field, there aren't very many uh, women of color, which is one of the reasons why I decided to become an esthetician. Having more black estheticians and black beauty brands and remembering to always, you know, include them in the conversation, I think is really, really important. So let's get into it. Now our first brand is Foxy Cosmetics and they are based out of Austin, Texas, ran by a punk musician named Kayla Phillips. Foxy Cosmetics offers beautifully handcrafted, bright, amazing, fun bath goodies, such as soaps, shower gels, bath bombs, and a bunch of other fun goodies. Plus, all of Foxy Cosmetics products are vegan, which is always really good for the skin. And I'll make sure to link all of the brands that I mentioned below so you can check them out. Now our next product has been a black girl's favorite, mine included, and that's going to be black girl sunscreen. They've actually crafted a sunscreen that doesn't leave that annoying white cast on the skin like most others do, which is great for melanin. So our next brand actually specializes in the perfect nude for melanin skin, and that's going to be Mended Cosmetics. And they specialize in products of all kind with the mission of helping you find the perfect nude. Now to stay on topic with makeup, our next brand is going to be Beauty Bakery. Now they specialize in providing cosmetics that suit an array of skin tones, especially the melanin girls. They also come in these really cute bakery and pastry inspired packaging and they're really known for their pressed powders which I actually love and adore. <clears throat> Now for hair care, I recently just discovered the brand called Main Choice and my hair absolutely loves their products, especially their deep conditioners. So far, my favorite collection that I'm currently using right now is their Ancient Egyptian line. The smell is amazing and their repairing leave-in makes my hair super soft and manageable, which I love because these curls have a mind of their own. And by the way, this video isn't sponsored in any way. None of the brands that I'm mentioning have paid me to be mentioning them in the video you know we ain't there yet so these are all personal opinions and brands that i've looked into and considered using now going back into skincare our next brand is nola skincare which is a black owned vegan skincare line that uses biodegradable and recyclable packaging they actually have a few masks that i'm going to try to get my hands on and another thing i like about them is they have little try me sizes that you can buy to kind of test out the products i think it's about a two week trial size which i think is pretty cool now, brand number seven was actually featured on Shark Tank as a startup company, and that is the Lipstick Bar. And they were actually one of the reasons why I stopped watching Shark Tank because they were treated like horribly. The things the hosts were like telling them were, was really like degrading and I didn't like that. But now they are in Target and sold nationwide. So who's laughing now? And they are known for their lipsticks that are customized to fit melanin skin. And they really specialize in making easy to use makeup for women who are always on the go, for busy moms and stuff like that. And I think that is really dope. Now our final brand I'm sure is a black girl's favorite. Actually I'm sure it's 
everyone's favorite and that is the honey pot which is an organic feminine hygiene line and trust me your lady parts will love this and it's definitely an esthetician approved feminine hygiene line now just keep in mind everything that's going on in the world right now isn't just a moment it's an actual movement and it requires all hands on deck to really make an impact and change especially in the beauty and aesthetic community and if you're looking for ways to support i'll make sure to link some organizations down below so you can help keep the movement alive don't forget to follow me on instagram where i post daily tips and advice and if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and we'll see you in my next video